Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3, where we're gonna ignore that for a second. Ah, I was gonna play Baldur's Gate 3 with my friends tonight. We haven't played our save in ages, but something comes up as it often does. And so now, oh no, I'm stuck playing Mass Effect! Don't know! Okay, I have to decide between Geral. I think uh, Principal Geral is correct. Honestly, but I don't know. I feel like the man needs to. Like, it's like, oh, you need to like reap the consequences of your own actions. But there are people. But also, we're putting the smaller patrol squad or whatever at risk. And you know what? I think I originally sided with Geralt, even though I didn't want to. But in this one, I'm gonna be a tiny bit petty, and I'm gonna say no. Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Geralt. Fine. I'll pull back the heavy fleet. And when we're taking fire from both sides, those deaths are on your head. Yeah, well, we got... Yeah, that was your fault. You, it's difficult to keep him in line. Yeah, well, that should be, like, a huge, huge red flag. And he should be, like, pulled out, honestly. Oh, yeah, we have Geth. We have that prime unit. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Whoopsie. Uh, I'm trying to find... Oh, we do not have it yet? I do not think we have Quarian. Quarian yet. Like, they're like alien. Just general alien. That's like the Batarians and the Elkor and everybody else. <laughs> but everybody else gets their own. <laughs> ha! Only the major council races. <laughs> Get their own. I guess the Quarians aren't. I don't know where. I don't know if they'll be in there or not. Anyways, um, now we are gonna go. Wait, we're gonna talk, talk, talk. Shepard Commander, we have re-established a connection with Geth liberated from the server. What's their status? We have integrated their programs into this platform's network with minimal difficulties. Your actions have changed their perspective on organics. They also offer gratitude. Sick. What'd you do after Oh, you never left mind. Our physical platform. Yeah. Hey. So the Geth believed your proof. That must be that nice. Must have been nice. <laughs> we'll talk later. Sorry, we I thought it meant like what happened to you in the server, but uh, no, we already talked about that. But we just got to chit chat a little bit about things that are going down. At least with these guys, you know. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Okay, boop, 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 boop. Talk to you later, Tally. Okay, sure. so we're gonna go rescue Chorus. Quib quib. It did. Black Ops always go bad. If you have to deny the action, it was a crappy action. Are we gonna have any sort of philosophical debate on that? Sometimes people need to get their hands dirty in order to keep the rest of anything. Uh, but then that gets all, you know, you got new uh, blah, 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 you know, blah, 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 blah. That whole argument of, uh, you know, do sometimes people need to get their hands dirty in order to keep the rest of whatever group safe? And does it need to be stealthy, you know, behind the scenes? Or do you get things like imploding governments because of the interference of one country? <laughs> And it's like, mm, maybe that was a bad idea. Hmm. From invalid extranet domain. Get programs and hardware designation. Legion have requested prime runtimes update. Shepard commander on platform status. Complying prime platforms house and server. Blah, blah, blah. Remain stationed on Ranak. Creator forces prevent transfer of prime platforms to get transport vessels. Cessation of creator get conflict required. Forces commander Sh or Shepard commander designated allies. Awaiting conflict status update. Kind of more like an airplane thing than a... <laughs> Than anything else. Let's see if Joker's got anything to say or Edie about this, but then we'll just head in because that wasn't a major mission. Um, and we've checked in with everybody who would really have an opinion on the situation we just resolved. Man, watching the Geth fleet move is like thousands of stunt flyers in formation. Creepy stunt flyers whose ships look like some sort of cockroach wasp thing. You're right. So you went into the Geth consensus? Yeah. Like virtual reality. Yeah, it was strange, but I got out all right. Did you? <laughs> How did I know Don't that? do that. If you really got out, see if the Geth experience everything virtually, then you could only think you're in the real world. What if this, like everything you're seeing now, is? Oh, we're getting meta. 
Shepard's like, I don't want to deal with that. E Edie. Shepard, you are now possibly the only living organic who has experienced the get consensus. Do you feel different? It's fascinating. Mind blowing. I'm also a bit thirsty. <laughs> and just like that, the magic is gone. Listen! Did you just say what I think you said? No. No. Did I just say what you think I <laughs> what I thought you said. Uh, listen, Shepard is no nothing if not a practical, boots-on-the-ground kind of woman. She can be experiencing all kinds of gnarly things and being like, yeah, well, self-care. <laughs> I'm gonna go feed my jellyfish and say hello to them. Hello, jellyfish. Also, I really don't like... I don't like the helmet, or the chest, rather. I need to find more. But I think you can only like oh no, you can buy no, I don't remember. I don't remember if you can buy them or not. This one's cool and this one does have the power recharge and damage. I do I think this is the one I went with originally like way back when I first played, because I recognize this uh like ab setup and the shiny boob setup. Shield regen would be nice, though. It looks good in here. She doesn't look good in the real world, especially because her waist is so narrow. Oh, let's just do this one. It looks better. If we can get a cool shield regen thing, we'll do it. But, okay, nothing in there. Is anybody... I'm going to just run, grab somebody. Crew deck. Oh, who's closest? Kate's closest. Garrus was in there with us, though. Hey, oh, uh, I'm having trouble. What the hell, Shepard? What just happened? Actually, don't tell me. I've got work to do, and I, I can't be distracted. What? I... I was plugged into the virtual world of the Geth Consensus. Saw their history, purged a Reaper infection. Crap. Now I'll be obsessing about how that works, instead of doing my Spectre Division expense work. <laughs> You're welcome. I was gonna say, don't just, don't brush me off, man. <laughs> I was like, I, something cool just happened. Definitely did something cooler than an expense report, I'll tell you that. But actually not, I mean, it was like cool, like, in the history. I had hoped the Geth would have analyzed any Prothean technology they came across. You're saying you found none? No. On this topic, our knowledge is not significantly greater than your own. That's too bad, but thank you for looking. Shepard Commander placed faith in us. We will do the same for Normandy. You mean the Normandy's crew? We do not see a meaningful Ah! Story. Okay, so he's like, put them all together, but Shepard Commander is like the distinct unit with that operates as like the head of the Normandy as an entity, I guess. Good to see you again, Yeah, Shepard. yeah, yeah, but I talked to that guy I mentioned. I don't know if you guys remember, because it was ages ago, but I don't remember. James? Oh, yeah, I Oh, this awkward. Yes. This conversation. You guys like to drink, lose it up. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. What about gambling? Play cards? Games of chance were punishable by death in the Empire. Oh, sure, sure. That seems reasonable. <laughs> okay. So smoking? You ever do that? Only when my armor became inflamed. Right. <laughs> yeah, smoking. I get it. So jokes then. You got jokes. All right. You got any good no, ones? No, no. No. Yes. Give them to me. The Tulomorian spy entered the enemy's camp and said to the Vanksher, I didn't know your barnabas could glow. Um. That was the joke. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. That this is excruciating. <sighs> No, it wasn't. I just made it up. The joke is now on you, human. You will believe anything. <laughs> oh, the laugh! Javik laughed! Listen, there are people wanting to romance Javik, and I definitely... Uh, his voice is worth romancing. Whoever voiced him, very good. That laugh, very good. Uh, very evil-ish sounding, but very good also. <laughs> I would have romanced Javik if I could have. I think you can like work it so that in the Citadel DLC you can like sleep with them or something. <laughs> but it's gotta be like you have to like I think you have to have like no romance partners at all throughout the whole series or something. And then like you get him drunk 
which is like, eh, but you're both drunk, and you're like, eh, <laughs> you know, just then it's like a mutual bad decision. <laughs> and then, because, uh, like, he gets himself drunk throughout the night. <laughs> He's not used to it. <laughs> and uh, then you can, I think I've seen it where you, like, I've, I swear I've seen, like, a video online where, like, you both wake up, and <laughs> Shepard's just like, we're never, like, Javik's about to say something, and Shepard's like, we're never going to talk about this ever again. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just go your separate ways. And I'm like, listen, it would be somewhat maybe, it wouldn't work, like, where Javik's at right now mentally. This <laughs> seems like, uh, he's not really into, like, the romance <laughs> thing. But, uh, you know. Oh, uh, that voice. A girl could breathe. Sorry, my back is killing me. Let's see if anybody does have anything to say, though. You took a great risk in allowing a machine we just... access to your mind, <laughs> Commander. It's true. What if they had it? I know. Who? What if I'm infected now? Um, we had just had that conversation too, and he's like, "You look what? Like I'm surprised." Javik, I think, I feel like would just leave, honestly. But I do have access to like resources and like situations that he can't just get by himself. So that's the only reason I could see him sticking around. Otherwise, I just don't. I do not see him banging with the Paragon Shepherd. Hey, Commander. Hi, James. What are you yeah, up to? Yeah, are you making? A little cooking. Hope you don't mind. I was craving some of my abuelas huevos rancheros. Huevos rancheros. Not sure what kind of eggs these are, but they seem to work. Mmm. 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 Not as good as my abuelas, but best thing I've had since I got on board. Maybe. And maybe it's best I don't know what kind of eggs these are, no? Uh, maybe stand up. Everybody hunches over so much it actually hurts my neck when I look at them. I'm stuck on a... <laughs> It hurts me when I look at them, especially James. He's always super hunched over. I'm like, listen, I know you're beefy, but... This platform can be of some assistance, <laughs> I appreciate the offer, Legion, but this is something I know a thing or two about. Uh-huh. Telemetry data indicates the calibration of Normandy's weapon accuracy can be improved by 0.32%. That's all. You can't squeeze 0.34% out? Negative. That threshold is not possible. <gasps> you sure? Take a look now. Scanning. Normandy's wow. improved by a margin of 0.43%. How did you accomplish this? A little secret we organics like to keep. Always hold some back for emergencies. Is our current situation an emergency? A geth meddling with our computers, telling me how to do my job. <laughs> no, I can't imagine that would qualify. Listen, Garris is like, listen, listen, listen. We good, but also, hmm. <laughs> Virtual Geth reality, huh, Shepard? There are a lot of ways I can think of getting a few kicks in this universe. That's not one of them. Yeah, I mean, it was not a good idea. And also the fact that the, we... Like, I don't know, there's like a whole plot point of like trying to interface human and... and, and machine intelligences. And... the freaking... What's his name? Legion. Just like just plows right past it all and it's like okay just gonna just gonna resolve that i keep thinking tally's in here and tally is not in here no yeah tally's in there i was like oh but tally does come down here eventually what bad news do you have <gasps> none no bad news perfect love that and javik was upstairs let's see if cortez has anything to say no no. Just one more diagnostic. All right, I love it. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna leave now. How many? Fourteen minutes. Just have to go around and double check. Go poke everyone. I you sometimes you start streamlining games like this, right? Like I played Black, uh, blah, 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 Dragon Age, and and Bioware games, Mass Effect games, so much that like you kind of streamline them. Like when I first played Mass Effect One. I went back to Anderson after every main mission to go talk to him, even though nothing really changed. Usually, every now, I think like once or twice, you get like a different dialogue option. But uh, he was so important to me as a character that like I wanted to go back and see him and check in with him no matter what, you know. But eventually, as you play, you kind of start subconsciously streamlining out things that don't really change anything, kind of, you know. Um, so I kind of stopped doing that, but that doesn't change the impact that Anderson's had on me as a as a as a character, as a shepherd, or me as a person, uh, we're gonna save. Yeah, ooh, hang on. Once again, I'm being scared. I don't usually have this problem in um, Mass Effect, but um, 
Been doing a lot of saves coming in Baldur's Gate, so. Someday I'll finish that game. Do, 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 do. Save the Admiral. Yep, yep, we're not destroying the Reaper base yet. Alright, who we can't bring Legion out. That's fine. I do think we are at max capacity for companions now. I think we have everybody with us. Me plus 200. Per Wait. Why do I not have my shotgun equipped? And why do I have the basic pistol equipped? Why? I was like, oh, we're good. And I saw 200%. I'm like, that seems excessive. The eviscerator? Nah, the spike throw is the one that throws the spike. The Rieger Combine. Do I want to try that one? I kind of do, actually. Let's see what we got. It ignores 35% of defenses on armored targets. That's fine. I wonder if I increase the... Holy moly. Oh, go back up to the top. I have an armor target's defenses. This one's just defenses in general, though. Capacity. Can I increase... Wow, the damage is not significant by any means. I think I'd rather do the weight. The accuracy is nil. Do I not like this one? Maybe I don't like this one. Eh. Just do the capacity. Uh, pistol do I want? I think I want to play with the scorpion. Do I? I think I do. Sure, this is probably like not a super optimized setup. <laughs> my shotgun has more of a capacity than my pistol does. But we in it let's make sure of Rick. Did they why did everybody's weapons change? Or maybe no, hers was pretty basic, huh? Uh, okay, um Garrus, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Love it. I don't care. Okay. Uh, what? Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zan. Have you reached Selkoris's escape pod? Not yet. What's your Why status? are you talking to me? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Selkoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting us. Well, yeah, he did. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences. I don't blame them. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalkoris understood the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. Oh, yeah, I just... What? I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Renault. You have like what? I'm getting some stats. Three. It appears our car has crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it. You have like three research vessels, and you can't use those to help civilians. Zen. Admiral. Zen. I don't want to talk to her. I want to talk to anybody else. Well, this should make things interesting. Yes, thank you, Garrus. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. Take us into the tower. Garrus always there with a quip. Love him forever. Dodgy dodgy. I slept funny. Now my neck hurts. You know, getting old. 
Ooh, zigzag. Ranok is beautiful. Anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. I'm setting you down here. Ranok is really beautiful. I think it's probably one of my favorites that we can play play on and. Uh, yeah, I remember those are the Joshua trees. I remember this. To be standing here in the land of my ancestors. Okay, now we had the tally moment, right? The other one didn't really count. I remember. I knew I liked Ranok and that it was an arid-ish place, but like, I couldn't remember like specifics. But yes, this is exact. I remember now that like this was like the exact kind of area. Clever. But if we just towed in some asteroids. Oh please. You want to drop meteors on Ranok? You'd make it unlivable. The dust would settle, and you've already got the. Oh suits. my gosh, Garrus. Oh, I think I messed it up. Uh, no, we are not dropping asteroids, Garrus. But yeah, no, I have vague recollections now of... Why is Tally grayed out? Because she's doing something? Oh. They came so far. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're going to find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. That's right, I forgot. There's only sadness. There's only sadness here because now we got to follow a trail of, like, dead civilian bodies. Ow. You all right? I... I'm okay. Watch out for Do me. I look all right? I'm on fire. The javelin. Sniper. Let's see. Oh, it's so pretty. The weight is ridiculous. We'll play with that later. I don't I don't want to give him a This one looks more like him anyway. I don't want to give him a new one when we're in the middle of a mission. Get below us. Ooh. Oh, I thought we had to go over here, but maybe we do have to go down below. I guess, like, there's only there's something to be said, kind of, for, um, you know, at least, I don't know, like, you made it to the home world, but to get here and die has to be, like, the most bittersweet thing ever, you know? Or, like, die, like... Without even really getting a chance to see it, you know? Without even getting a chance to experience it. I knew it. I saw you up here. But yeah, this, this kind of thing, this is my, this planet type is my jam. I work in similar places. I don't work with Joshua trees much lately. That was when I worked in the Mojave in California. Um, but... I'm trying to shoot, and it won't let me shoot. My gun is like being really weird. <laughs> Ow! Could you two move? My gun hates me. Um. Oh, it's the shotgun. Let's get hacked. So I do need to put on the cryo ammo. We good? No. Something below us. I don't know what I was saying. But the Joshua Tree, I haven't worked with those. I've been working a lot near Sawaros, actually. Super sick, um please. Come on. I can't I hate this game. I was watching it freeze. That's awesome. That cryo combo is actually really good. 
Oh, it froze the it froze the one in the blast radius. I took I just to keep taking these rockets to the face. But yeah, the saguaro have been super cool. I actually went to Saguaro National Park pretty recently. Didn't do a ton around it. Um, oh, that's a rock. But that's an explosive. Um, but I actually, like, I had a good time, though. Like, I just kind of wandered around. This is really sad. <laughs> and I think we're going to see, like, memories, like, recordings. And, like, I don't know, some of these are probably people trying to, like, you know, save the Admiral, you know? And... I don't know. They're, they're just... These are civilians. Like, these are civilians on the ground. These aren't even, like, military people. These are... It's just really sad. Such a satisfying gun. Like it's so slow, but it's very satisfying. AA guns ahead of me. Ooh, should I go get him? Ow! They have heat-seeking missiles. Unfair. Tell me what are you. They've taken the bridge. We need to take the bridge. I can't like hip fire. Oh, there we go. I got it a little. Let's look at the gun's console. We should be able to disable it. Yeah, we should also look just in case we have any goodies to pick up. I guess where we're gonna go. Turn it off. One of us needs to take those AA guns offline. You do it. Tally, you take the guns. Wait, I should have let Garrus do it because Garrus is free. No <laughs> Garrus, he knows how to do guns. <laughs> That's a big tally because she's a hacker, right? Protect squad Dropping mate. Death. Dropping guest water. Okay. Um, ooh, I did upgrade my... Yes! I can't... I can't hit them when they're going so fast, though. <laughs> Is that gonna be sufficient? Nope. There we go. I'm busy. I just keep watching. It's like, it's mesmerizing. I can't stop. Oh my gosh, it's a Geth Prime. Is there somebody? Mm, we are being flanked. But if you do not do this right now, give me shields back. No, no, no. Where are you at? There you are. Give me my shields back, you bastard. Okay. Is that something about salvaging? Yeah, baby. Come on. Oh, he took the armor. Oh, this is ridiculous. Time to... Oh, that's right! Oh, no. Oh, please. It's just like fires a beam. I don't like that. Please. Oh my gosh. I 
I can't. Why is this? Mm. Why is this not working? I hate this gun. Why did I pick this gun? Pistol it is forever. It dies so dramatically. And look, you see the ribs and fleshy bits? Like, come on, I just reused the explosion. Um, did we? They reused the explosion graphic thing. I think there's one when I got, that I pulled up around here somewhere and has not died. Upsetting. Well, unfortunately, it looks like I might have to restart. Alright, we can we have to redo this part. We don't have to redo everything, which is nice. Alright, Garrus has been keeping them pinned down. I put them on a sniper rifle. I just dealt with the just dealt with the geth prime. Just dealt with the prime, and that was good. That was Gucci. Oh, well. There's still one here. Yeah, holy cow, that is, um, that is Garrus's gun that is, like, shooting off those explosions. Why are there so many still here? That is not the one I wanted to press. Garrus, dang it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Where are they? What? Uh, is there one more? No? Okay. Well, last time it wouldn't end because there was a guy. Hmm. I realize this is probably awkward timing, but I'll probably call it here, I guess. I kind of have... I think I have enough footage for this one, but... Usually it takes an hour to record a mission from start to finish, which is like two episodes generally, but we'll see how this goes. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron. He's gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And who I cannot thank enough. So thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.